The Prince and Princess of Wales reportedly wanted to leave the Goldfish Bowl of London in favor of the private countryside when they moved to Adelaide Cottage in September 2022. But it also has the added advantage of allowing Princess Catherine the space to recover from her abdominal surgery away from the watchful eyes of the world. Over the last few months, there have been reports. The Prince and Princess of Wales and their three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, are about to say goodbye to their beloved home in Windsor. However, both William and Catherine have rejected a rumored move that would have constituted a major upgrade for the couple. Recent reports have alluded to a potential move from their current Adelaide Cottage residence to Royal Lodge, the expansive home of Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York. Meanwhile, the other royal officials have shared their view as the pairing is hoping to get Prince Andrew's house, seen as overpriced. According to Robert Hardman, the move from Adelaide College to Royal Lodge might happen but is not planned. Reports previously suggested that the couple could not move into the Duke of York's property, Royal Lodge. This is because they may have to step up to further royal duties, which will require more help as time goes on. Last year, Charles reportedly requested Andrew to vacate from the Royal Lodge and instead downsize to Frogmore Cottage, which was once leased by the Sussexes. Rumors suggested that the Wales would have top pick of the property. Smashing the recent rumors, the Prince and Princess of Wales are reportedly choosing to stay put, as Andrew is on the hook for Royal Lodge payments. Mr. Hardman said the move may still happen, but the Prince and Princess of Wales have two good reasons not to follow through. In his book, it is revealed that the pair are said to be extremely happy in their four-bed cottage. The author quoted royal officials who unveiled two reasons why the couple might not want to move from their current home. They said, They are there as a family with total privacy and without lots of staff. The author added that the rumored move from Adelaide College to the Royal Lodge might happen, but the resettlement is currently not planned. The couple are not the only one who enjoyed being at Windsor, as the late Queen Elizabeth is said to have mixed feelings but grew up to love Windsor as home. The Duke of York's eviction immunity is reportedly not permanent, as it depends on him following through on demands outlined in his Crown Estate lease agreement. He is said to be responsible for coming up with the funds to make repairs at the Grade II listed Windsor Estate property. The repairs will reportedly set the royal back approximately £2 million. He has already paid a tenth of that total. Prince Andrew has so far spent £200,000 as an interim payment but will need to pay the rest to remain there. He will reportedly struggle to meet the remaining costs, a family friend told, who has none of the royals believe there is any realistic chance he could stay at the property. They said, It's all a bit cloud cuckoo land, I'm afraid. No one, not at least His Majesty, believes there is any realistic long-term chance of the Duke of York being able to keep the roof at Royal Lodge over his head. As for Charles, he decided to make himself a ranger of Windsor Great Park. One friend found him rearranging items in the private wing of the castle. They said it was certainly less cluttered. The dog bowls had gone, and he was already asking for suggestions on what should hang where. A senior official further explained that Charles is also driven by a sense of obligation. The king often talks about the need for a living tradition, and this is a proper house, they said. Windsor is not Versailles. It needs to be lifting, and the living tradition informs everything.